What's going on YouTube? So yes, I did use Bumble for networking. And in this video, I'm gonna explain how it went. So the first thing that I definitely want to get out of the way is that I was utilizing Bumble Biz, which is completely different than the regular Bumble dating app, which matches you with potential dates. So this is essentially an app meant for networking. It is a part of Bumble, but it is not for dating. However, it does function in the exact same way. You swipe right and left, and basically it's a ton of professionals, entrepreneurs, creatives, you name it, that are all looking to make connections and possible synergies on projects or ventures or anything of the like. We'll put the link down in the description for Bumble Biz so that you can check it out yourself and download it and try this out for yourself and see what you get. But ultimately, I'm going to show you exactly what my experience was on the app, and it was quite interesting. There are a few things that I definitely want to tell you about first before I actually show you my on-screen interactions. Very similar to the actual dating function on Bumble, Bumble Biz actually lets the woman take the first move. Even though it's Bumble Biz and it's networking and has absolutely nothing to do with dating and it's strictly business. Another thing to know about Bumble Biz is that there is a huge variety of different people on the app. So there are entrepreneurs on the app that just need partners. There are people that are willing to invest in whatever your idea is. There are just full-time nine to fivers on there that want to maybe network with you for potential job opportunities. There are anyone and everyone that you might imagine on this app. As you'll see when I screen share with you, the conversations are quite varying and it's kind of quite boring small talk, but then eventually you might get into a conversation that is somewhat interesting and sometimes leads somewhere. All right, so without further ado, I will share my phone screen and show you exactly what every interaction was all about, what happened, how the conversations went, and pretty much what the vibe of this app is. So let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, guys, so I am inside my iPhone right now, and I'm going to show you exactly what my experience using Bumble Biz for networking was like. So I'm going to pop right into the app. So it's pretty simple. Um, my profile is basically this right here. So um, I put my name, I put exactly what I do, um, uh, I put my previous employment, and then I put, you know, other things about myself. So, you know, I'm Ben, I founded a recruiting agency and kind of like what I'm here for and what I'm interested in doing. And you basically have to pretty much kind of set up an actual profile. Like, so you, you literally have to write up a little thing about yourself. Um, you have to put a couple items about yourself, like what you're here for, um, what your uh, degree is and um, how much experience you have. Um, I forget what this one was, but anyways, whatever. Um, a couple profile pictures. So obviously, of course, I put the Hugh Hefner picture up. Um, no doubt, that's not a question. And then I put a couple other random pictures up of myself um, and just put where I'm located. So that was the setup of the profile. It takes about 10 minutes. It's really, really quick. And then what you want to go to is obviously the swipe tool, right? So this works just like any other of the swipe apps, of course. So you swipe right on anyone that you are interested in networking with, of course. So um, for purposes of, you know, just this example, I'm just going to show you swiping right constantly. So um, don't want, I'm just going to say, hey, how's it going? Really, really simple. Um, you match with a lot of people. Um, so there's really no shortage. You're pretty much going to match with almost everyone um, that you swipe with at some point. Um, so um, yeah, so let's just get out of that and I will show you the actual uh, conversations and interactions I've been having. So um, I talked to, it looks like... Uh, 
Kyle. Actually, I just reached out to Kyle. So um, Kyle was someone that matched with me. And I reached out and just said, hey there, um, just a simple opener. Obviously, I don't know if that's going to be intriguing or not, but who knows. Um, same thing with Tim said, hey, how's it going? Um, another one, so Hosea, um, uh, he asked a couple questions. So um, he said, hey, man, sounds like you're an ambitious guy. Tell me about yourself. So I did. I, I basically explained I run a recruiting agency and I also um, have an online uh, recruiting mentorship program. Um, and, uh, he said, that's awesome. I'm in e-commerce, um, which is pretty cool. Kind of similar businesses online. So I was like, that's kind of cool. Um, and he asked me what, what my favorite things about what I do are. And I said, freedom, the impact I make, and of course the money. Um, and then he's like, Hey, I'm all about those things. I'm aiming to set up myself up for financial independence here. So the next couple of years, really excited, et cetera, et cetera. He says, we sound like birds of the same feather, my man. It's awesome to meet like-minded individuals. So tell me more about yourself. Do you have any kids? That's kind of random. Um, so yeah, anyways, I'll go down to maybe some more um, interesting interactions. Um, this was just one where I reached out. Um, there's a lot of connections that I have not reached out to. Um, and as I mentioned earlier before, if you match with any woman, um, they have to make the first interaction with you. You cannot connect with them first, um, which I find kind of weird. Um, I know that's uh, the way Bumble works on the dating thing, but uh, I didn't know that for the networking thing. So this is Bumble Biz. That's B-I-Z-Z. -Z. So um, if you're looking it up to, to download it. Um, it it is a pretty cool app. Um, I came across uh, some interesting conversations. For instance, Juan. So Juan, actually, we connected and I said, hey, how's the day? Is it good? Yours? Um, staying quarantined, et cetera, et cetera. Um, he said he's been out and about working. And I said, oh, you haven't been staying inside. And he said he's spending about half of his time inside. And then he's uh, working with clients in between, but then doing housework and helping people in his community. I'm someone that likes to volunteer. I work with Special Olympics and stuff like that. And I said, that's really, really cool. So I said, how how are you doing that? So maybe I can kind of, you know, take by your example, right? So um, he told me about this app um, that's called, um, let's see what it is. Um, it's called Nextdoor. Um, so the, the app is called Nextdoor. And I'll actually open it up right here because I downloaded it. So it's all, it's called Nextdoor. And it basically connects you directly to your, your neighborhood. You type in your neighborhood. And it literally tells you, like, what people in your neighborhood might need help. Like, maybe older folks need help or things like that. Or there's groups or... Um, notifications or like maybe some of your neighbors are elderly and they need help shopping like it's actually a really really cool app and I just like I only found out about it through networking with this guy Juan so this was a really value-added conversation so anyways um so I went ahead and added that app and I, I, I just thought that was really cool so let me go into kind of an interesting conversation that was basically like an MLM pitch. So pretty much um, this woman connected with me and said, I'm a recruiter for Primerica in charge of expansion. Uh, what I want to know is, do you keep your income op uh, options open? Um, whenever someone asks you something like that, that's pretty much a dead on I'm an MLM person and I want to recruit you. And I said, yes, I do. Why do you ask? And I just kind of played into it. She said, I'm looking for people who are motivated to build with me and make unlimited income. Yeah, unlimited income. That's another telltale MLM sign. Uh, let's have a Zoom meeting to see if we could work together. What's a good time to meet? Um, and I said, hmm, can't say specifically. Um, but I did say, what would this be about as far as my involvement? She said, it's financial services. It's a highly regulated business do you have a financial degree to which i responded i do not have a financial degree i have a degree in political science i'm curious what the degree has to do with the opportunity and then she sort of got snippy and said well i said it's financial services so i was wondering if you're experienced in that or not and she said i want people who want to build an agency someone who's motivated ambitious has credibility and your your profile led me to think that might be the you, but I would like to meet you before I make 
any offer, which I'm thinking in my head, okay, an offer, like, you're, is this a job? Is this an opportunity? This is totally an MLM opportunity. So beware of these types of things. So I said, okay, yeah, that makes total sense. Um, then she says, would you be available to meet on Zoom in the next day or so? Um, I have time this afternoon, etc. And I said, I really don't think there's opportunities for me. I have quite a lot on my plate and I run several of my own ventures. So I'm not quite looking for a position right now. So that was definitely an MLM pitch. And I'll honestly just go ahead and delete that right now and just say that that was um, just not interested so yeah, that was quite interesting. So there was another quite humorous um, conversation that I had with this guy named Vincent. So I said, he he said, how is recruiting in this crazy time? I said, well, it's going. Um, I could at least say that. It's not super fast, but what's your main game right now? He said, I write random articles and then spend the tiny money on books and coffee. I said, fair enough. Sounds like a def- decent life. He said, it's not exactly goal fulfilling. I said, well, what are your ultimate goals? And he said, house, retirement, money. And then he said, people who say money isn't everything have too much money. And I said, truth, money doesn't buy you happiness, but it definitely makes you happier. Um, He said, I look forward to testing that and challenging lazy CEOs to do the same. And I said, get back to me with your results when you get them. So that's kind of how that conversation went. Another conversation that was really just two lines was this guy named David, and he said, what's up, brah, you trying to be a seven-figure recruiter? And I said, soon, man, soon, multi-six-fig for now. So I looked at David's profile, which you can look at anyone's profile, and he's a financial specialist at Transamerica, and uh, basically it looks like he pretty much works on giving out loans and essentially just possibly loan sharking type situation. So I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good on that conversation. Another interesting convo that happened was with Anthony. He reached out. He said, hey, Ben, how has Seattle Search Solutions been doing amidst the quarantine? I said, it's going well. Um, All is remote. What are you up to lately? He said, luckily still working, but with some reduced hours. So I have some more time to be creative, though, uh, through videography. So I said, awesome. Is that your passion? He said, yeah, creative passion is fulfilled through that. And my other passions is working with people. So I'm in healthcare as well. I said, that's really cool, man. Love to hear about people's passions and interests. I run a recruiting agency. And for me, that's my main game. So um, it was just really cool to kind of hear uh, about you know his passion what he's doing and uh, honestly you know videography right like um, pretty interesting because I'm obviously doing a lot of content and just his interest in videography like it may be of interest at some point to actually connect with Anthony and you know like possibly do something video related right um so just a possible actual connection i have to say that honestly most of the rest of the conversations i've had were really really boring as you can see here these conversations right here that are sort of blurred out um have expired so the way bumble biz works is as you can see up top on these circles um, you have a time limit um, and these conversations will expire, meaning your matches will expire and you can no longer connect or, or talk with them if they actually expire. So um, the ones that you have the most time with are, are right here. These are the most recent matches and these are the ones that are about to run out. So if I don't connect with this guy today, I will pretty much lose him in 16 hours. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm not really caring about that. I had a pretty genuine conversation with someone named Carol and uh, Carol said, Hey Ben, it's really nice to connect with a fellow entrepreneur. How are things going for you during quarantine? I explained what I do and how things are going. She said, that's great. Um, she said, what do you recruit for? So of course I told her exactly what I recruit for. Um, she said, that's awesome. How long have you been doing that? I said about four years now. Uh, And then I asked her what her main thing was. She said that she works in the financial sector and part of her job includes occasionally recruiting new talent to the firm and she's been at it for about a year now. And I said, nice, that's fun. Recruiting is super enjoyable. Kind of stopped the conversation there, but this was definitely not the MLM financial conversation that I had earlier. 
I found one conversation quite interesting with someone named Blake. Blake basically just hit me up and said, yo, Ben, I'm looking for an investor. And I pretty much just said, tell me about the opportunity, Blake. Obviously, probably something I'm not going to invest into. Um, he's an owner slash artist at Blake Byers Art. And he seems to be an artist looking for a silent partner um, slash investor, et cetera, et cetera. And I could read on, obviously, and he has plenty of information on his profile. I mean, if you were really into this type of thing, you could definitely network with these type of people and you could take these conversations way further than I have. But I honestly just wanted to get a high level look at what this looks like. This guy named Josh reached out to me and he had, uh, Quite the joke. He said, your experience timeline looks like you started your company while still working a job. Is that right? And then he reached out again saying, hey, Ben, how are you handling things? I said, yep, definitely started while at work, had lots of downtime. And then he followed up by saying, like, you worked your own business on the clock too, LOL. And of course, I'll say, yes, I did, because that's exactly what I did. Um, kind of an interesting question that he's honing in on. Um, so it looks like he's a business owner. He does e-commerce and I could look more into him, but at this point it really doesn't matter. Um, you could obviously have really interesting conversations with a lot of people on Bumblebiz and, uh, I would probably recommend it to a lot of you to check out for networking. Um, I don't think specifically it's going to lead anywhere like unique. Um, I think it's just going to be completely random. So um, you're going to find people that want investment. You're going to find people that want jobs. You're going to find people that may or may not want to start a company with you. Like who knows? Um, but it's definitely an interesting concept. Um, I would say the biggest thing I got out of it was this Nextdoor app. And honestly, this is pretty sweet. I would honestly recommend that all of you download the Nextdoor app just because it basically uh, helps you help your neighbors out. And maybe some of your neighbors need real help right now. So anyways, that's Bumble Biz. I'm going to hop out and see you on the other side. All right, guys, so that was my experience using Bumble Biz to network, at least try to network. Definitely think it's worth downloading just to download it and check it out because you could come up with something pretty sweet. You might meet someone that could totally change everything or meet a mentor or meet something like that. Like I said, I was actually inspired to download that app next door to help out my neighbors. Um, and I'm going to check that out more and more. So um, that's my total experience, really, and all I have to say about it. If you did enjoy this video, go ahead and definitely smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, as well as the alert button, so that you know every single time I come out with a new video. Until then.